Hello everybody, this is Ed January from ccie.thebeginning.wordpress.com and then this video is designed to be a short preface to the following lab and provide some preliminary statements and information about uh, routing protocol updates and redistribution processes. Routing protocol redistribution is one of the most sensitive and tricky topics in networking and it is the, the core knowledge of uh, the CCIE exam. So I will not cover all details of redistribution, just what we need to perform the lab. And remember that knowledge is merely answers to your own questions. So I encourage you to ask a lot of questions and leave your comments on the blog. So let's get started. This first animation illustrates how a border router works in the presence of the same prefix provided by two different routing protocols. In our particular case, it is ERGRP and OSPF. So you need to know that each routing protocol, with the exception of RIP, has its own routing table. So this is the router general RIP. ERGRP, for example, with its topology table and neighbor table. And ERGRP uses by default only bandwidth and delay as metric. So direct neighbor relationship are established within the same subnet, then start exchanging updates. ERGRP will always prefer internal prefixes over external. Then it will look at uh, the lowest metric, otherwise multipath is used. The selected prefixes are sent to the general rib if they pass the user configured filtering using distribute lists. Then we have OSPF protocol. As for ERGRP, OSPF uses its own SPF algorithm to build its own uh, database and manage uh, neighbor re relationships. So uh, OSPF uses cost as metric based on interface bandwidth and reference bandwidth. First, OSPF would prefer internal prefixes over external. Among internal, it would prefer intra-area routes over inter-area routes. Uh, second, uh, among external, it will look at uh, routes coming from a regular area and prefer type 1 over type 2. Then it will look at routes coming from non so stable area tagged with the letter N and will prefer type 1 over type 2. Otherwise, multipath is used. And the driving principle behind this choice is that OSPF will try to find the most optimal path inside the routing domain first. This is called hot potato routing. The same as ERGRP, interactions with the general rib are subject to distribute list filtering if configured. This is a protocol independent feature. If the same prefix is provided by more than one protocol, in our case uh, by ERGRP and OSPF at the same time, the one with the lowest administrative distance is selected. For example, for the routing table, the prefix 10000/8 and 10000/24 are considered two different prefixes. They both will be present in the routing table, but the rib will use the longest match to forward the traffic. Okay, let's have a quick look at the update process. So OSPF, EGRP and BGP advertise the contents of their own routing table only if they have been installed in the general rib. So you remember that RIP, the protocol RIP, doesn't have its own routing table, so it will advertise directly from the RIP. And by the way, a very frequent uh, issue to troubleshoot is when a router receives an update from a neighbor, but it's not advertised to another neighbor uh, because it's not installed in the RIP. Maybe because another protocol won the election, or maybe because a filter using distribute list is configured. Now we come to the question of redistribution. So EGRP, RIP and IS2IS require 
a manual configuration of the seed metric, which is the default metric during redistribution. So there's two things to remember. First, the default TRGRP and uh, RIP redistribution metric is equal to infinity. This means that by default the redistributed routes will not be available. And this is a very common error. Second, iOS will not alert you in case of a typo during the configuration. Uh, for example, a, a wrong route map name or a wrong access control list or prefix list name inside the route map. So, redistribution will occur from one routing protocol to another only if the prefix exists in the general rib and provided by the routing protocol source of the redistribution. That's why the border router will not redistribute a prefix twice. So, routes will not transit a protocol on a single router. So these are the combination of redistribution between two internal protocols for a very simplistic dual home topology. And uh, I included those cases with uh, BGP, uh, though uh, the approach is slightly different, but uh, I have covered these uh, cases of BGP backdoors in a previous slide. So there is two main categories. The first is when redistributing from one protocol to another with a lower administrative distance, in this case a better administrative distance. And the second case is when redistributing from one protocol to another with a higher or worse administrative distance. So note the key difference is how each protocol differentiates between internal and external prefixes. So pay particular attention to subdomains and loopbacks and how they are announced to the network. In the lab following this video, we will take a closer look at two examples from each of these categories. Uh, we will analyze related issues and uh, possible solutions. So let's get started.